Coach Elizabeth here with your tip for the week, and that is to create a focus wheel, which looks just like this. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, but if you guys want to download this template to make a focus wheel for yourself, just go to elizabethpearson.com and click on the freebie tab and you will see this template, which you can download for free and create your own and even watch this video again and we could do it together. Um, what is a focus wheel, you ask? Well, a focus wheel is an exercise in using the law of attraction to manifest wonderful things into your life. And this is pulled from the teachings of Abraham Hicks. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know I am slightly obsessed with Abraham. Um, feel free to Google his name and all sorts of wonderful stuff around YouTube will come up for Esther, Jerry, and Abraham Hicks. Um, so check it out. But what we're gonna do today is start out by putting the statement of something that you want right here in this middle circle so this could be i want a slender sexy healthy body that lets me run marathons something i mean i'm not running any marathons but if anybody out there does feel free write it in here and then what we're going to do is we are going to write statements that we believe that coincide with this right that coincide with getting us to this point. So say, or let's do career, okay. Say that you want a job that plays multiple six figures or you wanna be C-suite level or something like that. Write that in the center and then what we wanna say is, maybe in this first tile you say, I'm an incredibly dedicated employee. So if you're not though, don't write that. <laughs> um, because Esther and Jerry Hicks say that this is kind of like a big fast moving merry-go-round at a park. This is your vibrational vortex spinning energy. So if you try to put any crap in there that you don't really believe, it's gonna get flung off and you're not gonna manifest this. So we wanna only put in here statements that we believe um, that support the center statement of the thing that you want. So like I said, you could say, I'm a dedicated employee. I actually enjoy being a road warrior. I mean, if you like that, great. Put, I am really good at presenting, or I'm a really good teammate. I'm friendly and everybody at the company loves me. I contribute to the company culture in a positive way. Something like that, you get what I'm saying here? So put things on there that you actually believe and they have to feel really good to you. So when you're writing it, not only does it have to be believable, but it has to invoke like a feeling of pride or these warm fuzzies, right? Something that you believe. Because the whole point of this is to fill up all of these pieces with things that you believe that support your center goal or whatever you wanna manifest. And by doing that, it really shifts your focus to what you do want, not maybe the lack of the thing. So if we're talking body here, instead of feeling disappointed or ashamed of your body or doing some sort of trash talk on it, we wanna say, all of the reasons why our body actually works for us, right? And when we start loving on our body or we start loving on our job or our kids who are being nightmare toddlers, it's funny how things change, right? Not only does your perception of it switch to a perception of gratitude, but the actual external things start to raise up and the universe kind of meets you with where you want to be, where your goal is. It really does feel like magic, but it's just utilizing the law of attraction. I've done it for a long time, you guys. I swear to God it works. And even if you don't really believe me right now, I mean, what have you got to lose? It's a piece of paper and it's 10 minutes to fill it up. Take a look at it in the morning, take a look at it at night and watch the magic happen for you. And then let me know what you manifested afterwards, okay?